Hi, this is Irina Sutsky reporting for Geek Entertainment Television on location inside of a car that talks back to me. I'm here with Val from the Microsoft Automotive Business Division and he's going to show us the business. Yep, we're going to show you Ford Sync. It's powered by the Microsoft Auto Software Platform. It allows you to bring your personal devices such as iPods, Zunes, um, and mobile phones into the car and use them. Let's see what this baby can do. Okay, well one thing that's unique about this system is we download all the contact information that's in your phone's phone book. So Did you want to email them spam? <laughs> no, you, but you, you want to be able to call them while you're driving the car. So you want to be able to have your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road when you place a phone call. So that's, like, that's like heaven for me, what he's talking about. <laughs> I might have a personal device of my own. <laughs> okay. Um, and so we download all the phone book information, then we create the speech grammar, so then you can use your voice to place a call. Let me show you. Oh, so I can teach it to have my kind of grammar? You don't have to teach it, it already knows. You just have to speak to it. Oh, okay. Let me give you a demo. But, but I can't talk like Yoda. <laughs> like Yoda? <laughs> Bill Gates, I will call. Uh, don't know if that's going to work. <laughs> Main menu. Phone. Phone, please say a command. Call Bill Gates. Call Bill Gates on cell or at work. Work. Calling Bill Gates at work. So now you can see that we're dialing Bill Gates. Are you sure he's in the office? Well, he should be. It's the middle of the day. I wouldn't <laughs> want him to be slacking, you know. So that's how, you, how easy it is to make a call to either someone in your contacts or anybody else. Okay, and so you, so were you guys influenced by Kit from <laughs> Knight Rider? <laughs> yes, Kit was a consultant for this uh, product. And how it was did, the Batmobile. <laughs> the Batmobile. And um, how, did, uh, how did you guys decide what voice you were going to use? Like, did you get a woman on purpose or can you pick, can I get a guy to be my, my voice for my car? Well, in this current implementation of the uh, Ford system, it's only the woman's voice, but in the future we can add other voices. Who knows, maybe celebrity voices. <laughs> Get in the car. What else you got for me? Okay, well, it can also read text messages to you where, that you receive while you're driving the car, <gasps> and you can respond back to them. Wow, that's amazing, because, you know, there's a new legislation about texting while driving. Right, yeah. <laughs> so let's take a look. Okay, well, here's a text message that I've uh, already composed, and I'm going to go ahead and send it to the car. Okay. So let's go ahead and listen to it. Hi, kid. No turbo boost, but I can get six kids to soccer. Winking smiley. See you later. Hugs and kisses from kitten. This is a Zoom, but it could be an iPod. It could be any kind of MP3 player. It could even be a USB thumb drive with music files on it. We download all the information about the music, so the titles, artists, genre, etc., and then create a speech grammar and make it available so, via your voice. So I've got thousands of songs on this uh, uh, Zune, and maybe there's one I want to hear right now. Can we hear Back That Ass Up? I don't know if I've got that one. User device? Sorry. Please say navigation, audio system, display, voice settings, phone, user device, tutorial, or help. Play track Bootylicious. Playing track Living Legends. Okay. So, you know what? Booty is a living legend. Yeah. Well, you know, because it can find Bootylicious, because I didn't have that, it's looking for the closest song to it. So it said, okay, it sounded sort of like that. Okay, living legend is good, that's good. So we'll leave out on that. We're almost inside of a living legend and we're gonna turn up the volume. <laughs>